right, vertebra. So when you find isolated vertebra, how do you identify them and what's the difference? Ichthyosaur, well, ichthyosaur vertebra are the most common thing you'll ever find. They're the most common macro vertebra. They are characterized by the shape. I mean, this is a um, coming on just onto, nearly onto a sort of door, so you see the rib facets starting to come up the top. But it's very narrow, hour, hourglass shape, and it goes into the sort of nothing in the middle. If you cut that in cross section, these, these middle bits nearly join to make a very thin thing. The neural arches that sit on the top where the neural cord goes through are like this. Now, the, the thing is with ichthyosaur vertebra and neural arches, they never fuse, ever. So these are always never fused to the centre. Like, so that's very, these are very, very common things to find. Indeed, as I say, the most common thing you'll ever find. Plesiosaur vertebra, well, they, they do vary in shape and size and goodness knows what. There's a typical late cervical vertebra of a plesiosaur. Okay, quite thick and chunky. You see it's not sort of tapers into the middle. It's quite thick. Okay, and the other thing is with that, the neural arch is not fused on that. So that will tell you that it's actually not adult because when they become adult, these neural arches then fuse onto the centra. And often when you look at them, you'll never see that sort of fusion join. So here's a typical dorsal vertebra of a plesiosaur with these fused neurals on there. And when we look at those closely, you, you won't even see the sort of join, that sort of bone knits and grows together. Okay, and that's a sort of typical plesiosaur um, dorsal vertebra. Pliosaurs, there's some sort of controversy about that. This is a, just the centra vertebra, okay, of a pliosaur, typified in the Kimmeridge with these big protuberances in the middle. We get those on both sides, okay? The neural arches are never fused, and there's some thought that actually everything that's ever been found, they've never been fused, indicates they're sub-adults. I think that's not true. I think, uh, rather like the ichthyosaurs, they never did fuse, or very, very rarely. So we've never, ever found the neural arches of a pliosaur fused together, certainly in the Kim region. And then the other th less common thing you get are actually crocodiles. So there's a crocodile vertebra, okay. Characterised again, you see it in cross-section, they're very narrow in the middle, wasted there, with these ornament, these, these ridges that run along the edge of the centre faces. Can you see that? Um, totally different. And the only thing they're very similar to, if you find something like that much bigger, are dinosaurs. They're very, very similar to dinosaur vertebra. So a lot of people get confused sometimes whether it's dinosaur or whether it's crocodile, but more often than not, it's gonna be crocodile because they're very much more common, certainly in the Cambridge clay than, than dinosaurs. That's all we've got for you today from the Etches collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time.